What's going on? I'm Gear Duran, also known as Gearbox Rocks. I'm a digital illustrator, concept artist, graffiti artist, body painter, and also traditional oil and acrylic artist as well. Ability to create and manifest the images that I see, you know, either on in my dreams or what I like to call channeling um, from my mother. You know, I actually we were separated at birth, and uh, she passed along the creative gene so much that you know. Without anyone teaching me, it was just instilled in me. I mean, it's in my blood. It was that, it was that deep rooted in, in, in my being. I came across digital arts. Man, yeah, it's <laughs> that's a hell of a story. I would say uh, it first started back in 1997. I used to live with a bunch of uh, computer hackers, engineers, um, DJs, clubbers. You know, uh, the, some of the Burning Man crowd and uh, some of the uh, Burning Man community back in the day. And uh, one, one time I was actually drawing my sketchbook and one of my uh, computer engineer buddies and, uh, and hackers, he came up to me, he's like, hey, you know, we see you, you're a graffiti artist, you draw, you know, have you ever heard of Photoshop or, or uh, any of these other programs? Like, nah, like, you know, well, what's that? And so he broke it open for me and uh, actually gave me one of my first PCs. And I, you know, the rest is history. You know, he actually showed me how to scan stuff in. So I was taking like my graffiti letters and my sketches my characters back in the day and, and actually would scan them in and start digitally coloring them and, and showing me, he was just showing me a couple of little simple basics. But after I started getting the hang of it, um, God, I don't even remember what tablet I was using. It must have been one of the old Graphires or, or something from like the late 90s. But uh, I mean, it's not nearly as good as what it is now. But uh, I would say it's, it was, it's definitely come quantum leaps and bounds. You know, the hardware and the software is just so much more now than it was back then. But um, that was around the time when I first started messing with uh, digital illustration. The environment that, uh, that I was around during those times, I mean, it was like straight out of the movie Hackers. Like, we would get together every Wednesday and paint people naked with UV reactive fluorescent paint and press them up on the ceiling. It was insane. It was like barbaric post-neo ritual, you know, it was, it was quite, it just seemed pretty normal for me. I mean, I don't know, to, to find weird or, or uh, you know, but I guess normal. <laughs> so, yeah, a little history on how I got into uh, to digital. One of my biggest clients, my first biggest client was Jonathan Davis from Corn, and I actually did a huge graffiti mural inside his recording studio uh, when I used to live in Hollywood. I went over there, and sure enough, you know, Corn, the, the whole band was there, and I was like, whoa, okay, this is, this is pretty serious. And so, that, I, that was one of my first biggest clients uh, as a graffiti artist. One of, one of the things that I really like most about being a digital artist is that, for me, you know, being multifaceted in all these different media, it's actually a starting point. I mean, it's always like great to actually get on the sketchbook and get your hands dirty, but if I got my laptop, if I'm on the go, if I'm on my bike just, you know, traveling around, I need to be able to create right then and there. Uh, being a digital artist and being able to create digitally from the start is super important to you, no matter what you're doing, whether it be a large scale graffiti mural or production, whether it be a tattoo design, whether it be a body paint illustration or design, um, it doesn't matter because, you know, for me, being able to create the concept digitally is so forgiving. I can manipulate the color, the actual composition, everything right on the fly, just extremely fast. So for me, being able to work in a high dynamic workflow and something that's able to give me the speed and flexibility, such as like Painter, you know, in tandem with, you know, a Wacom tablet and whatnot, just on the go and on the fly, no matter where I'm at, is just super key to what my workflow and my lifestyle, just always being on the go and on the road to travel. Aside from being a digital illustrator, I mean, I got many different multifacets of, you know, styles that I do within other mediums. Uh, I'm a hardcore airbrush artist. I actually also teach for uh, Iwata Medea. Uh, Airbrush Rendezvous over in California, out to Anaheim. Uh, uh, uh. Also, I'm a graffiti artist as well. I mean, hey, I gotta admit, I had to break a few eggs to make the omelet, but uh, it's it's definitely awesome being paid to do graffiti nowadays. Large scale UV reactive black light art installations. Actually, I think you might see a little black light. But I don't really find myself having enough time to is traditional acrylic and oil illustration. For me to be able to resonate with some of the Renaissance artists like Rembrandt, uh, Michelangelo. Botticelli, you know, a lot of those old school masters, for me, those guys uh, are some of the best teachers, alongside nature, nature's a really good teacher as well, 
Oh man, some of the hobbies that I like doing outside of art. Definitely like doing a little FPS, you know, some first person shooter going in there. You know, pwn some noobs and, and get out. You know, what, what else can I say? Uh, airsofting, it's kind of like, I guess, playing Call of Duty for real. Uh, it's kind of like paintball, but the guns look realistic and, eh, personally, they hurt more. I mean, mine are pretty hopped up. They're shooting like 400 FPS per second, so. And uh, it's, it's definitely uh, an adrenaline rush and a workout. So airsofting, I look 4 by 4 you know, going out with my friends, you know, in my big old, like, battle buggy zombie color machine. You know, it's this big old, like, 88 Chevy Suburban. It's ready for the apocalypse. It's crazy, so I'd really like to get more inspiring artists, no matter if you're a digital illustrator uh, or any type of artist. And, and I can't stress this enough. I, I really can't draw every day. I mean, fill your visual vocabulary, your visual spice rack with things that you like. What's your muse? What what things do you enjoy? You know, go out and draw monkeys at the zoo. Go out and people watch and, and see how different people have different walks and gestures about them. You know, fill your visual vocabulary full of stuff that you enjoy and that you enjoy drawing. You know, to be able to look at a sketchbook and just say, hey, you know, I'm intimidated by this empty page. It's like, oh, well, what am I going to do? It's like, no, you want to be able to look at that empty page and not first think, what am I going to do? You want to think, well, what do I want to do? I got my sketchbook right there. Before I go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, whatever, 15 minutes, I need 5 to 15 minutes a day before I start my day. Hit that sketchbook. Just loosen up. It's not, you're, you're not going to put anything down there that's going to impress anybody. You know, and maybe it might, but you know what? Most importantly, that sketchbook is for you. Draw, 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 draw every day. So I got to say, I'm super stoked to be a painter master for 2015. I mean, my jaw dropped when they contacted me and asked me. And asked me. I, was, I was deeply honored. I was like, holy, holy cow, no way. I mean, I couldn't believe that I was being asked to. You know, I mean, I, I got to admit, there's a lot of badass digital illustrators out there. But the fact that they chose me, I mean, you know, they, they definitely have been, I guess, from what they've been telling me, keeping around me for a little bit and seeing kind of like my ongoings and, and all the events and, and the stuff that I've been cranking out. So. You know, they're like, hey, you know, you got an individual, individual style and you got something that's unique here, so why not, uh, why not step to the plate and, and let's do this? So I was like, hell yeah, you know, why not? So I was, I was really excited about being asked to be a Painter 2015 master. That was, that was a deep honor. So one of the things you might be able to expect in my Painter Master month. Oh! <laughs> 